Welcome. We have ourselves a finitely charged disk of charge density eta, and we know from previous electric fields what this electric field is. So if we want to find the electric potential of the disk, we can use superposition and add up rings, but we can also use our definition of electric potential. Our definition of it is that the change in electric potential is equal to the negative path integral of E dot dS. So what I can say is I can say that my change in electric potential would be the potential at Z equals A minus the potential at Z equals infinity. Why am I doing this? Well, if I go all the way out to infinity, I know that the electric field has to be zero out here. So if I start at infinity and then go to here, then I can define the electric potential at z equals infinity also to be zero. So then I would also get, right, this being zero. So as I do my electric potential calculation, I am then going to have, right, negative integral. So in order for it to be a path integral from infinity to a, my bounds need to be z equals infinity to z equals a. And then I have my E, so I plug in my electric field as I found it, epsilon over eta over 2 epsilon naught 1 minus z over, and we're just going to have the r squared first, r squared plus z squared to the 1 half, z hat, dot, and then my ds. So as I'm going from z equals infinity, 2a, right, this is being my path integral, what am I changing? I am changing z, so I would have this be dz, and the direction I'm moving is along the z-axis, so z hat. So as I do this, I can notice that z hat dotted with z hat equals 1. So what I can do is I can kind of just cancel out this. So looking at it then, my integral, I can pull the negative eta over 2 epsilon naught out entirely of the integral. And then I have these two terms, which I can make two separate integrals. I can do an integral from infinity to a of 1 dz. And I can subtract an integral from infinity to a of z over r squared plus z squared to the 1 half dz. One integral is very easy. The other integral, just use integral tables to find. So negative eta over 2 epsilon naught. My first integral is just going to be z from infinity to a. And then my next integral, right, z dz over r squared plus z squared. If I do all of that, I'm going to get the square root of r squared plus z squared evaluated from infinity to a. So let's put on these evaluations. And again, remember this delta v is equal to v at z equals a, which is equal to negative eta over 2 epsilon naught. And then this one becomes a minus infinity minus, don't worry, we'll get rid of all this stuff soon enough. And then we have square root of r squared plus a squared minus square root of r squared plus infinity squared. Looks a little bit scary, but let's take a look at this r squared plus infinity squared. Anything plus infinity is going to be infinity, so anything squared plus infinity squared is going to be infinity squared. So this is approximately the square root of infinity squared, which then approximates or equals, depending on how you want to call it, infinity. So now I have my electric potential at z equals a is negative eta over 2 epsilon naught 
a minus infinity minus square root of r squared plus a squared minus minus gives me plus infinity. So we can hopefully happily cancel out negative infinity, positive infinity. If I want this to then be a function of just z, I can say my electric potential of my disk as a function of z is all of this just every time I see a, I replace it with z. But I have this a minus r squared plus a squared, so I can actually factor this negative through, so I have 8 over 2 epsilon naught. If I factor this through, then I have positive r squared plus c squared minus z. So this is another way to do it. And another way is very important, just like we learned from the point charge, the point charge we started at a distance of infinity and then went in. For a lot of electric potentials, we're going to go from a distance of infinity in instead of where you might think, right, start and then go out. Because over here, this electric field is not very well defined uh, near the edge of the disk.